If you look really close, you're gonna be like, what the hell is that? What's going on with her braid? <laughs> I can't see right now. <sighs> Why is my contact? Yo, my contacts have been pissing me off lately. Hello, my name is Shariel. If you are new, hello and welcome. I should shut that TV off in the back because it is flickering. I'm getting ready for a party. <laughs> I haven't been outside in so long. Every time I'm outside, I have to work, which is fine. You get money, you know, best of both worlds. But when I want to just go outside and be carefree and not have to worry about serving people and not having to worry about money, like remembering um, how to count money <laughs> and like stuff like that, I just want to be carefree. I haven't been out, out in a minute. I don't even know how long it's been. Like I've been to little things here and there, but I have not been out. So today we're going out to a party. It's a C4, what is it? It's a C4 event um, that's like the energy drinks. And then after, probably gonna go to like a little bar and chill for a little bit, but not gonna stay out way too late. Cause listen, I, I'm inside. If I'm not working, I'm inside by like 12 at the latest. <laughs> Sometimes later, depending, depending, depending. But listen, I'm getting old. I'm just like, I'm really not, but still. I feel like I'm getting old. I never want to be outside like that. I never want to be like out way too long because I start missing my bed and da da da. But anyways, I'm just gonna get right into it because I don't want to sit here and talk. So for this party, I'm doing a um, jumbo braid. I was gonna do a high one, but I'm like, nah, I kind of want to do a low one. So I'm using this hair. This is braiding hair by, um, Spectra, but it's not, this is this is the company. I mean, this is not the company. It's called a, a free, uh, not free trust. Mm, easy braid, easy braid. That's what it's called. This is like my favorite hair because it gets tangly, but it's not like annoying tangly. You get what I'm saying? Like it's still soft. If you play with it too much, then yeah, it's gonna get really tangly. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna use this hair and I'm gonna do a bigger braid. Like I'm not gonna do like a skinny braid. I'm kind of gonna, do a jumbo, like I said, did I, I don't know if I said jumbo, did I say jumbo? I don't know. But anyways, if I did, <laughs> whatever. So I'm gonna do a jumbo braid, um, a low one and a middle part, since I already have it. This is old hair. So we're gonna do what it do, what it do, what it do. <laughs> I did not feel like washing this baby. So yeah, it's all like crusty on the top. I'm not gonna play with it too much cause it's gonna start flaking. Oh Lord. I really need to get a big mirror to go in back of my camera so I can see stuff. My part is definitely not My part is definitely not straight. I gotta fix that. I'm just trying to loosen the uh hair. See how <laughs> it was hairspray gel of this. <laughs> um trying to loosen up a little bit so I don't like pull out my hair when I'm trying to part it. Eee. It's just the front piece. If it's crooked, it's crooked. I feel like it's straight. When it, when my, yeah, when I pull my hair down, it's gonna be straight. All right, I don't know. Like, I have an idea of what I'm wearing, but you know how that goes. When you have an idea of what you're wearing in your head, it never goes as planned. Never. And I should have tried it on yesterday, but I didn't. But I feel like, I mean, it's like black and um, like a, what is it? like a charcoal color pant, kind of. Like it's a baggy, um, one of those like baggy cargo jean type things, but it's a charcoal-y color and then a black top. So I feel like you can never go wrong with black. Like if anything, I'm just gonna put a black, like a basic black top on and call it a day and still wear the jeans. The only thing with the jeans is that I have to, um, they don't fit my waist perfectly. So I have to put like a little shoelace or something or try to do, like the little button hack and you know, put it in the loop and stuff. See, I'll be seeing too much stuff on TikTok. But um, <laughs> I wanna see if that works because I want it to fit my waist and then they would be cute. And then I'm gonna put either black booty heels or white booty heels, cause it's still a little cold um, out here. So I can't really have the toe. Well, I can, but I don't want to have the toes all out. I'm just making sure everything is flat because I hate having any type of bumps in my hair and it, or it looking like I have a bigger head than I already do. <laughs> so 
So as flat as possible, I need to make it. I'm gonna take out my edges. I don't I don't think I'm gonna do a like a big swoop or nothing. I'm thinking I'm gonna do like two little swoop swoops and two little swoop swoops. Okay, so my favorite gel is this Pro Style. I forgot, um, Pro Style Extra Hold Super Hold. I get it from my local beauty supply store. Um, they have them at all the ones that I've ever been to. And it has the best hold ever. I use it for my baby hairs to slick down my edges. Um, I use this to slick down my hair all the time. Every time I'm doing a slick back, I always do this. Or even when my hair is out, I'll do like a little doom doom, doom doom, and it's perfectly fine. Okay, so I'm not doing like slick this way because my head looks stupid. So I have to pull it back a little bit this way. You know how you just have certain things that you know work for you and your head shape and your body shape? That's how it is. Don't worry, I'm gonna put way more gel <laughs> after. I just like to get it nice and smooth first with the brush. And then I'll go in with gel and then I'll slick it more down with the comb. Um, this brush I've had for years, I think I got this at a Dollar Tree, honestly, but it's the it's a hard bristle brush, you know? Ooh, what did that stuff come out? Oh, I felt like gel, a bunch of gel came out or something. Um, it's a really hard brush, which I really love because it slicks it down. I have a soft brush too, and I kind of use that when I just want to put you know, when I just want to slick it a little bit and have my waves still pop out. Like, my waves are always going to be popping. <laughs> They're always going to pop out. They're never going to completely go away. But when I want to really slick it down, I use this brush. And when I just want to, like, you know, brush it a little bit, I'll use a softer bristle brush. I think I started doing my own here. And I think once I got to middle school, my mom was like, you're on your own. <laughs> I'm tired of doing your hair, your hair is too much. My hair was way thicker than this. It's thinned out over the years, but my mom was like, I can't, uh -uh. your hair is way too much. I'm tired of doing it, you need to learn. And I think for that first year, <laughs> I was like, what am I supposed to do? Like, it was in a bun. I remember it was in a bun to the point where there was always a nest on the top of my head. Cause I always had it in a bun, like right here. And I never wanted to comb it. So it was just a big old nest. And my mom used to piss, like she used to get so mad at me because she would have to comb it out because it was too much for me. So <laughs> I finally learned how to do my hair. I mean, it wasn't cute hairstyles, but I did, I learned some things, some things, but majority of the time my hair was always slick back. And then when I got to high school, I started straightening it a lot more because I just didn't want to deal with my hair. And then when I, after college, I really embraced my curls and started to learn how to do my curls more and take care of my hair better. And then I just did way more hairstyles after that. You gotta start somewhere, but I didn't start somewhere cute. <laughs> So I'm gonna put a little bit more gel in there. You could put as much as your heart desires. I just know my hair and I've already, I already have like some gel already in here so I don't need too, too much. But when it's the first time me slicking it back, I put like a pound of gel in this hair, <laughs> plus hairspray. <laughs> I'm gonna slick it down with a comb to get everything, slick it as close as I can to the ponytail. And I could probably get this smoother down because I don't like that little hump that I have right there. All right, it's not tight, tight, but it's tight enough. So now I'm gonna put, no, actually I'm gonna put a little bit more gel because <laughs> I just messed it all up so it's not slick, slick. All right, now I'm gonna put this got to be glued, sorry if it looks all dirty, but it's gel and stuff on it. <laughs> got to be glued spray, I'm sure you've seen this everywhere, but this is my go-to hairspray. It doesn't make my hair white or anything and it holds it like crazy. Okay. And I'm gonna take my comb again and brush it down. I'm just gonna wet this because when I put my braiding hair in, I just want everything to go on smooth and it to be like not have a bunch of tangles or just looking 
raggedy, you know? So I feed mine in. I don't, um, you know, wrap it on top and then put it on. You know how some people do that? I don't know if you've ever seen that, but I don't really like to do that. It's easier for me to just feed it in. It's just less work for me. But it might look like more work for you. I don't know. I don't know how good you are with feeding in, so. <laughs> I can't tell you, but it's easier for me to do. All right, so I'm gonna take a little piece, probably like this thick, and I'm gonna wrap it around my uh, uh, hair tie because I don't want that to show. Put some hairspray. And just wrap it around nice and smooth. I'm just gonna take a bobby pin and bobby pin that in there wherever I could find it. And there we go. And then just spray that baby down. Spray that baby down. Spray that baby down. So now that that's done, I'm gonna just do my baby hairs real quick. Well, they're not, I mean, yeah, I guess they're baby hairs and edges because I cut some of them. So I have natural baby hairs, but then I also cut edges to make them a little thicker. Um, I just use like a razor and I just shave, 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 you know? I don't know if you've ever seen it, but it's not hard. I remember my cousin put me on to that. She was like, you could just make your own baby hairs. And I was like, how? Because I have them, but I just wanted thicker ones. So I'm doing one swoop right here and then one swoop down here on the edge. And then one swoop down here. I'm gonna do this off camera because I can't focus. <laughs> you see what I say when my head, my head, I just, my head pisses me off. <laughs> I, I don't know why. People will be like, no, you're tripping. But I'm like, no, you, stop lying to me. Just, just stop lying to me, okay? All right, so since I'm making it jumbo-y, I am going to take a bigger, wait, if I could get this out. I'm gonna take bigger sections than I would normally take. So probably like, Probably like maybe this big. Let's see how that works. All right, I'm gonna do like this size. This is a good size to me. Oh God, I need to um, get one of those stands. <laughs> the hair stands that they have. Cause I feel like these are thicker than this. All right, so I'm gonna do this. Which way do I normally do it? I do it this way. So I always forget which way I like place my hand. Oh, it's this way. This way is easier. Okay. So I'm gonna split it into three sections. This is not gonna be a whole tutorial because I, yeah, I don't feel, I mean, it's gonna be a semi tutorial cause I'm gonna explain what I'm doing, but I'm not gonna like really go step by step and show you exactly. Hold on. I'm taking my rings off because they're gonna get stuck and I've had that happen when it just tangled up all in my ring and it was aggravating. All right, three sections, start your braid off as normal. Are those even? <laughs> okay. No, that's not even at all. Lord. This is the hardest part, honestly, starting it off. Once you get it going, you're good. The first one in. Okay, now I'm gonna put some uh, gel in just to smooth it out and just smooth it out with my nails. Take my next section. This is definitely harder to do with thicker braids. Whew. <laughs> my arms is already getting tired. All right. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take my last section. I feel like this is lighter than the rest of them. Whatever. Uh-oh, I got tangled with something. Ugh. Oh, I gotta start over. 
<laughs> oh my god. I got it like tangled up in something and I don't know what it was. It's kind of harder to do with nails. I'm realizing that. Okay, take like 40. <laughs> Oh, this is way harder to do with thicker pieces and nails on top of that. Oh my god, I don't recommend doing this with nails. If your hair is not as curly as mine, you'll have a better time. Or if you blow dry it beforehand, you'll definitely have a better time. But I ain't got time for that. You know what? This braid is just going to have some texture. You know? <laughs> it's not about to be the prettiest braid, but it's going to have some texture. That's actually a good length. I mean, a good thickness. Too thick, I mean, I would have got probably annoyed <laughs> trying to put it all in. So, I'm gonna take a little rubber band and just tie the bottom of that. Okay, make sure that is nice and tucked. Fix the braid a little bit. It's not the prettiest braid, but it's gonna do for now. I'm not really too crazy about this part because it's gonna probably go against my skin and my shirt anyway, so it doesn't have to be perfect, but I just wanna make sure that these are down. These frizzies are not too crazy. If you look really close, you're gonna be like, what the hell is that? What's going on with her braid? <laughs> but yeah, you're not gonna be able to, you can't tell that bad. Just gonna slick the back. I have baby hairs in the back of my neck <laughs> that are out of control sometimes, so I have to slick them down. So I use these rapid things. Um, I find them at the beauty supply store, my beauty supply store. I don't know if they're in like a Target or anything like that, but I just know they're in mine. This is the best thing I've ever used for my edges and my baby hairs to make sure they stay in place. I've used um, silk wraps and other stuff and it just, it don't do what this does. This holds it in place. When you take it off, it's like, it's not going anywhere. All right, so we got the chaos of the braid in place. I love how I said it was gonna be easy and then I just struggled just to do this damn braid. <laughs> but usually it's not this out of hand. This was ridiculous today. Okay, so I um, fixed my pants. I got the, the looseness of it to be tighter because I put like a elastic thing in it um, around the, the waist, like inside the waist, and I tightened it. So I'll be able to wear those pants. So I think my outfit is gonna come out. Okay, we have hope, we have hope. <laughs> Um, my mic might die. I hope it doesn't because I'm gonna be upset, but I have it charging. I don't I don't know if it's actually charging, but um, Yeah, I lost the direction so I have no clue. I've never charged this before either. So whatever if it shuts off it shuts off It is what it is. I started early for a reason, but I didn't realize my freaking hair was gonna take that long uh, so now I have to speedy up, but I'm not about to do anything crazy with my makeup. So it's just going to be like a natural, a natural little beat. So I'm using these, this Healthy Edges by Care Care. I don't like my eyebrows too hard because I have to go in and um, fill them in. But if I don't have to fill them in, I'm just going to use that uh, life gel that I use for my hair. Like if I'm just going randomly for some errands and I don't want to fill them in or anything like that, but I want them to be in place, that's what I would use. But if I want them to somewhat be in place and I could toggle with them to fill them in, I'll use this. For my lashes, I use the Carbon Black L'Oreal Mascara, my favorite, my holy grail. I just, I'm in love with this one. It's just, I don't know. I, I forgot what YouTuber. One of the YouTubers put me onto this. I need my little mirror because you can't have to do it. Honestly, it might have been Jaclyn Hill. I think she was the one who put me onto this, and I never went back to anything else. Like, I've tried other things, but I always keep coming back to this one because it's somewhat cheap. Like, nothing's cheap nowadays. <laughs> Everything's so expensive. 
but you know it, it's not breaking the bank and it also lasts long and whenever it does get dry it still works really well so I don't mind it I actually like it when it's drier than when it's new I put a lot of coats and mascara I don't wear any falsies so you're just gonna see me putting a bunch of coats on throughout this whole uh, little get ready with me I'm gonna try to move a little bit faster than normal I'm gonna try <laughs> so I got this new Kat Von D um, I had it in like a gifting box they gave it to me it is a pore refining primer that was in the box and I like the primer so far I never really use primers but I like this one and then I had this foundation but I feel like the foundation is really light for me now this is more my winter shade so I'm gonna save it for now because I did get a little bit darker when I went to Florida so a little a little tint a little tint but it's not the color that I want to be I want to be dark I love being really dark in the summer I love my summer color because I get like a dark and I get a reddish tint rather than a yellow tint and it's oh, so beautiful more mascara on it's like after every step I just put more and more on load that baby up I am not wearing foundation I rarely ever use foundation um I think I only have like two foundations anyways <laughs> But oh my gosh, I'm using the Rare Beauty Concealer. This one's in the shade 430W. I've used a lot of it already. I love it. I'm going to put that around pretty much everywhere you would put foundation, kind of. But it's just not as heavy. They're very light swipes. My neighbor, well, it's not even my neighbor. It's my under neighbor. They're playing a movie or something and I can hear it. So hopefully you guys can't hear it. But that's just weird to me. Like, how can I hear underneath me? It just, <laughs> it never made sense to me. So I know if I can hear them, they can definitely hear everything I'm doing up here. <laughs> okay, I always blend my... Uh, makeup out with a brush. I never use a beauty blender. I just I used to use them a long time ago, but they're just not they're not my thing. The brush just makes it more like airbrushy to me. This color matches my skin color really well, so I don't need to like you know put on too much. I just put where is necessary for me, like where I have stupid spots or like dark spots that I don't like. Right, I'm trying to move a little fast because <laughs> I it is what six probably almost like 610 and I want to be out here or I want to be dressed by 645 650 and call my uber by seven o'clock now I'm going in with a lighter concealer I'm using the Fenty Beauty uh, 370 shade I need to get a shade to match for my summer shade because Honestly, like I like the Rare Beauty one, but Fenty has just always been my go-to. It will always be my go-to, and I need to get a new shade of it. So I let this sit down for a little bit, and I'm going to go in one more time with mascara, and then I'm going to clean off my lid, because I make a mess every time. Oh, I forgot my damn Q-tips. I don't want to get up. Alright, real quick, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna use this Juvia's Place, um, what is it called, bronze palette, I believe, and I'm gonna use the darker color and just put that on my eyelid. Oh, I can use this mirror. <laughs> ah, my lashes! Okay. Just put that on my eyelid before I blend out my concealer because I want it to be, not crisp, but I want it to have, you know, a little bit of a good line that makes sense i'm gonna like fluff it out a little bit i'm not a uh eyeshadow person like guru i'm not amazing at it but one thing i'm gonna do is pop on a brown shadow and some sparkle <laughs> and then sometimes i'll put a line which i'm gonna do today i'm gonna put a um a wing a little wing eyeliner 
and that's it I'm not doing I'm not doing the most I'm not doing a bunch of colors I'll put a little bit of color if anything like a pink or a green but I'm not putting a bunch of colors on Wrong brush. I'm just gonna blend that concealer out with the same color I mean the same brush <laughs> um, there's no reason for me to use another brush see it makes it a little bit sharper when I wait and don't worry about my forehead I always do that last because I just you know put whatever's left on the brush scrub it on and then I'll put a bronzer on the top it always comes out fine there's no line <laughs> don't worry about it so for powder I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier translucent deep I use two powders I use this powder and then I'll use the um, Huda Beauty powder and Canufa, I believe it's Canufa. Um, I use this one first and then I put that Canufa one on very loosely after. I don't like to bake. I tried it, it's just not my thing. It doesn't work for me. I use that same brush and I just tap it all in. Tap, tap, tap. I pretty much powder my whole entire face with this one or all the oily spots that I don't like. Now that that's set, I'm going to go in again with the Juvia's Place Bronze Palette and I'm going to use that top color to bronze up my face a little bit. I mean, I don't really know what I'm doing that much when it comes to bronzing. I don't contour because I can't do it right. <laughs> I've tried. I just don't know what's good for my face. So um, yeah, I just do it like this. And don't worry, when this comes off, I do it again over the spots. And it's always fine but I don't like to use the bottom color because that's way too dark for me right now but it's definitely gonna be the perfect color when I get darker in the summer well it is summer but it's not summer in LA it's gloomy as all hell <laughs> it's cold it's so depressing I just want to make sure my face is picture ready because I want to get some good pictures and videos in today I've been doing very well at taking pictures in front of people well, it's still not amazing, but <laughs> it's getting there. It's getting there. I'm not as shy. I just have to figure out more poses than the, I like I have one go-to pose that I know is just going to work, but I just need to start experimenting a little bit more. I just feel like I look stupid when I'm doing it in front of people, but like, who really cares? That's what I'm telling myself. Who really cares? How to change my battery. <laughs> I feel like I've had to change my battery, charge my mic. Freaking get up like 10 times to get stuff. I was not prepared. I wasn't prepared. So now I'm going to use that same color that I bronzed and I'm going to put it in right below my eyebrow and then bring it down a little bit. I'm telling you, I don't know how to contour much, but as long as right here has some shadow to it, I'm cool. I don't know why it just does, you know, it makes a difference right here. And then I'm going to go underneath with that darker color again. I'm going to put some under my eye. Oh, that just flew. I don't even know what brush that was. <laughs> Hopefully it wasn't a brush I needed because that's going to piss me off. No, it wasn't. Okay. I'm going to do my liner because I want to get this over with just in case I mess up. <laughs> Okay, so I'm using this brown liner that I got from where the Urban Decay. They sent me a gifting box of a bunch of colored liners, and this one's a brown one. And when I tell you it's stay like you need oil, oil to take it off. <laughs> I've had my makeup, all my makeup off, and you'll just see two wings, doo -doo. like this. This stays 24/7. That's real. So I like the brown one because it's not too strong but it's just right for me. It's like a darker brown color. I've been getting better at my wings, so hopefully today it doesn't decide to act up. I feel like I have to hold my breath every time I do a liner. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Good job, Shai, good job. <laughs>
one thing with this is you gotta work fast. If you need to, if you need to like swipe it off, you gotta swipe it off real fast, or it will stay. I guess that's pretty decent. I'm not the next sit here. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> um, this is definitely my favorite type of liner to use because it's not really liquidy. It doesn't get everywhere, and then it it's like a, a good precise precise liner okay it's 6 30 and i'm pretty much almost done all i have to do is blush and then the other set of powder so i'm using the huda beauty kanufa powder this is what it looks like huda beauty kanufa or Kanu i think it's kanufa so i just tap a little bit in there i don't get crazy and just tap right underneath my eye press it in i just do it because it makes it a little bit brighter and pop a little bit more i don't know if you could tell the difference and then i'm gonna put a little bit right here and a little bit on my nose i'm a kind of a clean up as i go type of person because i absolutely hate having everything there even though this still is a mess it's still in its place you get what i'm saying <laughs> i don't know if that made any sense but i'm using the um juvia's place blush palette in volume two and i'm using both colors so i start off with the darker color first as the base okay and then i'll use the lighter color on top of that one i use a lot of blush i always call it blush and brush always mix it up i use a lot of blush because i am a blush girl and i just like my cheeks to pop i'm gonna do the same thing with my nose put a little bit there of both colors i don't know the mix of both colors are really really pretty to me sometimes i'll just do the top sometimes i'll just do like the bottom the barbie pink one and then i'm gonna use a little bit of this color right here from the morphe 9t the one that i've been using like the mirror for and i don't have a brush so i just use this little q-tip and i'm gonna put it right in the inner part of my eye i'm telling y'all brown and glitter that's all i use <laughs> i'm not gonna put any in my tear duct because i don't want it to be all crusty in the inner and i'm gonna be out you know how you just be in somebody's face and you have crust all in your eyes and nobody told you <laughs> i'm not trying to risk that today so for my eyebrows all i use is this brown shadow from a random sephora palette i've been using it for years and i just use an angled brush and fill it in how i want to fill it in sometimes i go thicker sometimes i go thinner They are a little dark today, but I think it's because my gel is still wet. Whatever, it doesn't look bad. See, when I tell you my cur my um waves, they never leave for good. There's no way. They're staying with me forever. <laughs> I've never had any way to like really slick it slick it down it's always gonna be there so i'm just gonna take whatever is left in that brush and wipe away the line then i'm gonna put whatever is left in that brush for the you know the blush to go up into the hairline and then uh, take that bronzer again on my forehead I've been using this uh, Revolution Energy Fix spray. I don't know. I've been using it as a setting spray, and it's been holding up really good for me. I got this as a gift when I went to a Pretty Little Thing event. I do that because I want to hide. You know, I don't want to spray directly on my nose ring. Still, It's still healing, so... cover as much as I can <laughs> I try I try I'm gonna use this and just fan it off okay, and then last step 
is mascara. <laughs> More mascara. I just put it on because sometimes I get some eyeshadow on my mascara and I don't like that. So I like it to look as black as it can. And I don't put any on my bottom lash because I haven't found a lash, uh, I mean, sorry, not a lash, a mascara that doesn't smudge because I do smile and I have really chinky, like my cheeks are very close to my eyes, so it always smudges. So I just never even put it on there. But if you guys have any recommendations for a good bottom lash mascara or technique, let me know. So the outfit that I have is this like lettuce -y, see-through top it's a long sleeve and i'm just gonna put a black bra like um you know one of those little triangle bras underneath it is a crop and i have these pants from fashion nova see what i was talking about when i put the elastic through so it can tighten up the waist and they're just these cargo long ones are like little flares at the bottom not too flary but they're nice so I feel like, you know, you can't really go wrong. And I think I'm going to wear these. I'm either going to keep it as a, you know, just black vibe and call it a day and put these booties on because I love how those pants look with like a triangle toe. Or I'm going to just throw on a pop of white. I might put on a pop of white because these are really comfortable. And both of these are from Fashion Nova too. But I feel like I might just put on a pop of white and then keep everything else black. That'd be cute. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm about to make a TikTok real quick and then I'll come back with the final results. I think it's going to be fine. If I change anything, I'll let y'all know. <laughs> okay, my apartment is an absolute mess right now. So if you see, just shh, it don't exist, okay? <laughs> so this is the top. Um, I put this like lace bralette thing on because um, it pushes my little my little B cups up <laughs> and then this was like a lettuce strap so it went down there I don't know if you guys guys seen it when I showed you um, the shirt before but I just buttoned it once and then tied it like that because it kept sliding up and it was kind of pissing me off but I thought it was really cute like this tied my little strap right here like that um, I think I'm gonna loosen up a little bit because it looks a little a little crinkly I think that should be fine these are the shoes i wish i could show you like <laughs> okay i try to lower it but this is the pants 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 these are the shoes yeah the whole outfit oh and this is the bag just the black bag i wanted to keep it all black and then throw on the pop of white for the shoes. And then this is the jewelry I have. My everyday jewelry. These are all from Amazon. These aren't real, but these are real. And then my rings are real, but these aren't. I'm going to get real necklaces really soon, but these hold up really, really, really well. So, and the braid. I think I'm going to spray this before I leave. But I'm about to call my Uber now. I hope you guys enjoyed this little get ready with me. It was a little bit chaotic, but like that's just... How I get ready normally <laughs> I just I'll have enough time I'll set time and then I'll end up going slow doing the most everything goes wrong and then I'm late but every everybody else said they're running late so it's cool so I'm actually on time <laughs> everything that I use will be listed below and if I can find like all the outfits and everything I'll try to list it below I'm not getting paid for any of it but I'll try to do my best but whew, I'm out of breath Baby, <laughs> that was a lot for no reason. Oh my God, okay. Ooh, I'm really hot. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And also comment if you enjoy stuff like this and if you wanna see anything else or anything similar, let me know down below. I'm still experimenting everything, but that's it, bye.